orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. What? <laughs> So on my live stream, I've been streaming for the past couple of days on trying to complete this game called Not For Broadcast. And by the way, this is part one of the series because this game is like super long to complete a couple streams to complete it. And but here's the full video that I edited for you. And yeah, enjoy. So I, they updated this because last time I played it was not like this. Not even close, I don't think. Who's that guy? They just threw some random guy at the end. The election. Oh, I remember. I had like a whole story to it. I remember that now. Okay, I remember now. I remember. I'm just trying to remember. Okay, so I answer the phone, right? Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. David, listen. Now, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up. So, uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. Uh, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep uh, that's our audience. I don't know, I'm starting to remember everything now. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Uh, oh. These plugs control everything in the studio. Oh, oh, let's turn everything on. Turn on the fan. All you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can uh, Oh, I for yo, there's so much stuff I forgot. Okay, these are our ads. My sad little weekly crazy Neil, come to Bumley, exercise with ham sleeves. Okay, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see my sad little weekly and crazy. I want to see those. Okay, what else? Okay, okay, but if y'all don't understand, this is what I'm controlling right now. That should be able to see it. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, Rooker. Next is going to be the thread of the news titles on screen two. News titles? We'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all great. By corners, Andy's totally independent, and corners the flawed market. Okay, so this is what it's actually. This is what the viewers see, and this is not what I'm streaming. So I'm controlling this. Next title sequence. Okay, there's a countdown. Two, one. Hey. What if I just do that? Oh shoot. I'm starting to get the kick of this, alright? I'm starting. Here it comes. Switch to screen. Oh. One. Three. Lovely night. The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. The landslide victory with an astonishing 80% of the doing pretty good. This is kind of, this is fun, dude. I know, I, I know, so I haven't actually completed it, but I've gotten, I guess, near the end, kind of like the middle end. If that makes sense. And it gets difficult. Alright, how to do that? Okay, this is the advert. Alright, all right. we're we're slowly learning this. Yo, I'm trying. I'm trying to see the ad. So I know. I remember this is audio. I'm not fat, but you are. Don't worry, ladies. Now you can have me, Johnny Hamsey, right there in your lap. Johnny Hamsey, dude, give it up, dude. What a man. 
Okay, yeah, this is exercise with hamsters. Stay on who's talking, no one won't talk, no shots longer than 10 seconds, reaction no longer than 3 seconds times. Alright, okay, I, I, I'll be at this, we got this, we got this. 4, 3, 2... Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later we'll be hearing from the shock election winners right. advance. Alright, Megan, Megan on screen four. Megan, thank you, Jeremy. So, 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 <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right now, just try and stay on whoever's talking. Alright, this doesn't seem pretty much. Alright. Yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap. That's Peter the rap. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful job. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I've worked with him on several. Thunder Twat? That's his name? Yum. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Thunder Twat. You'll remember the Wasn't it? True story. Thunder Platt? One soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at this. Guy. I'm not lie. It's a role that's so you scoop. That one should always strive to. Uh, we're, we're getting viewers. Not fuck things up. Oh, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Yeah. Okay, I remember. I remember. I have to hold the sensor. I have to hold the sensor. I, I remember. I remember. I remember. Oh, stop talking! I can't hear this guy. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Mr. Thunderclap, I'm about to clap that thunder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting viewers. That's pretty good, that's good, that's good. This is pretty cool, bro. I like this game. I think that's a picture of like the real people. Staff drinks, downstairs at the star, election day. Oh, that's today, right? Because I knew they were talking about elections, right? Right? I don't know, man. Ride out. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count your in. Okay, we gotta play an ad. Do I play B? What ad do I play? Okay, I'm just gonna play B because I. Uh, I already know that, I already know that. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up, like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button, or the space bar on your keyboard, for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm, and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Bro, I'm drooling all over my shirt, bro. 
Oh, we're going live. Okay, 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 okay. I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit, he's pissed. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty... Yo, this is pretty... ...lying southern bastard trick they had against us. Did you? I did, I bleeped it. You saw right through their shite. I'm sorry about the language. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory fights. It makes me coarser than the grown this Dude, this is so diff. No, I missed a. I missed a. Bro, this is. Oh my goodness. So difficult. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit in pants on and opening their gift to checkbook. I bleeped it. Yo, we get we have max viewers. Yo, we're doing pretty cake sale. I'm gonna stop getting distracted. So all you bastard public school snobs have got no. I bleeped it. And earlier today. We revoked your passport. You want him back. What is blood yapping about? Oh, this is pretty fun. I forgot how fun this game was. I haven't played in a while. It just gets it gets difficult, like what like literally at the middle. You'll see when we reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you Does that mean a curse word? Oh my stop cursing. The people whose children you raise So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Yo, chill with the curse words. We are coming oh, your sports cars and your mansions and your videos. This is too fast. Today. It ends. Today. Yes. And then some then, ladies and gents, and then some then, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Okay. Let's go. Well, interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we drop that bleak down for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. Ooh! Someone's going to be in trouble. Not me. I beat them all out. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. Mm -hmm. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Oh, I'm going to put that. Have a peaceful night. Looks like you've got it now. Thanks for being I was gonna, how are you gonna leave me, bro? Why are you leaving me, bro? Not going for a drink. No, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Try not to get murdered. That's funny. Uh. All right, first day. The first day we got sequence A, sequence A plus, sequence A plus. I don't know why I read that three times. It says I don't know. Broadcast grade A plus. That was perfect. You have received a generous bonus. Current wealth of broke <laughs> broke has poor shares. Alright. They definitely did some updates to this. Last time I played this, it did not have that. I think. I don't know. Alright, let me continue. Day one? Alright, we're day day three. What happened to day two? We just skipped day two? Oh my, I forgot about this, dude. Current world of broadcast board. An unexpected form. You have arrived home to find a post on the map. Most being nothing more than just the useful junk mail. One letter, however, catches your eye. The team wants you to know. Curiosity gets the better of you, and you open it. Alright. It's a form of the new advanced government. Asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled out already. Your name, Alex Winston, Winston. Your spouse, Sam Winston. Your children, Charles Winston, age 14, and Susie Winston, age 19. Well, you moose, moose, mouse? Whatever. At least they got the basics right. The rest of the questions are left for you to complete. They appear, the ma appear to be mandatory. Question one. Upon starting a new job, you would be friendly to introduce yourself to new co-workers, be productive and get to work immediately, ease yourself into orange, but I, I, got the, the, I got the reading level, 
of a kindergartner, all right? So be patient with my reading. Your, yourself with your new workplace or be friendly with and introduce, I guess that, right? I uh, Question two, a colleague in a different department has confided, confided in you that they have, they have been talking home confidential information. Now a file of a minor importance has gone missing. You would help your colleague cover up the violation, recommend that the colleague reports it. But I'm not trying to get in trouble, so I'll probably do this. An entire department was fired today for consistent unperformance, underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. You would leave work on time, uh, stay late, and ensure that for hit the first deadline. I'm not trying to get fired, so stay late. You know, it's the annual company barbecue, and you and your family have been invited. You are looking forward to enjoying a nice day out. Yeah, I don't feel like reading the other ones. You've been, you've had a long, successful career, and now you are now about to retire. In your speech, you list your achievements and all the good memories you had with working there. Give an honest review of the pros and cons of the companies. Focus on issues and challenges you face while working there. Refuse to attend. Uh, definitely list the achievements and memories well, that, that I've done in there. I don't know why you would do anything else. In your spare time, you like to relax alone doing things like listening to music or making models, attend political rallies and stand up for your believe in, what you believe in, encourage to support your children with their hobbies or playing in your local sports team. Um, relax and listen to music. It is most important to the government keeps people safe, free, happy, equal. Dang. Um. Probably happy, right? Cause like, if you're safe and you're free and you're equal, you're happy, right? I'm gonna go for happy. Thank you for your copper corporation. Co copper cooper cooper. Bro, whatever, bro. I'm, I'm not. It's, the words is too long. Advance, know your time, valuable, and we're appreciating help in leading our nation into a better future. Sign your name. All right. Day four, day five, day six. A family matter. It's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying up your favorite, drying up a favorite coffee cup. Drying? What do you mean drying? Oh, like washing in the... Okay, now, now okay, I understand, I understand. A worn-out souvenir of your first trip together. A, pr a prince fade, but the goofy face still makes you smile. A knock at the door brings you back to rea rea reality. There in the garden, clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let them in, they sit at the kitchen table visibly stressed. Chris takes a deep breath. Uh, is this, uh, this is getting dark, bro. I thought we were just like all like having fun, uh, switching screens, playing ads. I'm over here reading a whole like murder scene or something. I'm so sorry for bursting. It is too late, Alex. Chris stammers, but I need a, f I need a favor, and you are... The only one I can ask. No problem. What's going? What's going on? Are you okay? Should I get go to get Sam? Nah. What's the problem? Let me let me know the problem. You must have been you. Oh my gosh! I, I have the reading skills of four year old, bro. You must have seen all this cr crazy advanced stuff. The assets and wealth act they're calling it. Taking people hard earned money to found the lazy. It is BS. You have never seen Chris ag ag agitated? I'm not saying that the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money. Chris adds hesitantly, has hesitantly, has tightly. Dude, for, forget about that word, dude. Forget I, forget I even said that. But they can afford. But they can afford it. People like me, we're going to lose everything. That's awful, but I'm sure I'm. But I'm not sure how I can help. You're, you were always the well-off one in their family. 
I'm sorry, but taking it from the rich to help the poor doesn't seem, sound like a so doesn't sound so bad. Um, I don't know. Do I, which one? Which one? Dude, I don't know, bro. I'm sorry, but taking from the rich. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, mini money, mini mo. Uh, they're going to take everything, Alex. Everything I've spent my life building, I can't let that happen. I need a favor. Chris eyes find the floor tiles. I need to borrow your passport. What? Borrow my passport? You are not touching my passport, buddy. My passport, why? That's definitely what I'm asking. <sighs> Water's so good. They've been taking mine and have the bloody cut countries but people always say you and i look familiar so chris is pacing now i need to leave before it's too late once i'm out me and my money will be safe but i need to go now before they freeze my accounts please alex i won't ask if i had another choice any other choice okay it's upstairs in the safe let me go go get it and you can take it surely there's another way i can't be that serious yeah definitely i'm not giving you my passport yo Bro, it's better like take a credit card in my name. Dude, what is on my foot? Chris mouse falls open. You're joking, right? I've always done right for you and Sam. I've treated your children like they were my own. We're family. Does this mean nothing to you? Alright, I'll go get my passport. Family's family. It's against the law. I can't help bro. What are you what are y'all doing in this situation, bro? I I don't know, man. I'm not giving any of my passport. I don't care like if they're my house. I mean, it is family, you know, like, Vin Diesel type, you know? <laughs> nah, I'm not helping you, buddy. Fine, I'll solve it myself. Chris Bits, so much for family royalty, eh? Grabbing a high floor since suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. The peeling face now seems to bore into you. The knot in your stomach tightens. Yo, this is getting, like, dark. Yo, I might have to complete this video in like two streams, dude. I might have to complete. Oh, yo, yo, Jake is calling or whatever his name is. Oh yeah, so no power. Load up the adverts. Should should we play this? What? Why I just hung up on him? Yo! My bad. Oh, I'm gonna put the ads in. Should we play this? Is this, is this a safe toy? Is this toy safe? Dude, I suck at reading, bro. Hmm. What you think, chat? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Snuggle hugs? That's the bastard. Yeah, I wouldn't get one of those. Snuggle hugs. Janet says bears gets really hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Oh, I'm going to put gold letter adjusting and corn. I'm going to just put the whatever in and do it, honestly. Three, two. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of advances, first full week in office. We ask exactly who's leading this show. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold. With what do I do? Did I just pick one? With the assets and wealth act on the brink of raising living standards with the vast majority of the country. Successful first day or second or I think this is the eighth day. I don't know. I don't know, chat, but this guy won't answer. In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about Advance's first week in office. Joe, sure, my and arm hurts from the. Johnny Neal, Katie Brightman, a leading feminist, the Alan James, author of Alan James is Right. The Jeremy, we're to become the great herd, ignorant, sterile, and shrewd. Yeah, we're, we're, That's what they Alan James is right. That's crazy. That if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. What? Wow! James is shamelessly self-promoting. 
Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Bro, my arm hurts so bad, dude. I'm I'm focused, dude. I got, I'm locked in. What does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Well, of course. Katie, we might be on the eve of breaking. Bro, yeah, I gotta stop talking so much. Change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes. To the open. cable. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order. Alright. Uh, that, 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 that camera shot was a little too late, but we got it. Tonight, on the National Nightly News. One minute back. Ooh, what a good cooking. Oh, I want, I want to watch the ad. I want to watch the ad. Kids, you love them. We love them. I love them. I love kids. Them company when you can't. If you keep me happy, I'll keep you safe. And his incredible what? I hope your mommy and daddy don't die in a fire. That would be bad. It's Mr. Snuggle Hugs in stores now. Selling. Uh -uh, I don't like that. Welcome back. In our second segment, Ooh, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the law and order in our country. Advance of a ready time. I remember this. I'm in the ball, dude. Team. Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Woo! What's it like on the front oh. line of a hard face with a cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working I'm gonna do it on my keyboard. Hand just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desk. Which must affect the quality of support. I can do it on my keyboard, that's way easier. Keep up with the man, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at I don't remember this. To relieve the problem. Right. We need more support from ministers. We well, we need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. Leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Just hang on. Just hang on. Oh, the, the, the problem what? is the local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Bill's getting here. dumped on Can live. <sighs> well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need, uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving? <coughs> yes, I totally understand. Thank you. Both getting dumped. I imagine that, that actually happened. Joined by a man with a very different perspective <laughs> on nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? Oh, I'm sure we all do. Bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a raise, dude. I'm trying to, I'm, right now I'm broke. I'm just poor. I'm not trying to be poor. I'm trying to be richy rich. I'm trying to be young Sheldon. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy. I'm just pretty easy right now. It all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Well, look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, your bloody gimp's escaped. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please? What? But what is going on? As I, I do saying, not remember this. Much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral <laughs> decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Oh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. I'm sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. What is going on? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Back in your gift space. Off you go. Who's back just back is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly go. not the responsibility. Oh, what? Right darling, where's the pad oh, Hold on just a moment. Oh, Clive, you simply went to do nothing. Boy, this is wild. Clive, I am not having this again. Mummy said, get back in your kids. Paul's in his underwears. As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of a criminal. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob. Are you guys seeing this? Barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. Really locking down the police's position on morality for us. Some lucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back. Oh! After these messages. I clicked that. Oh my goodness. I clicked the thing too early. Right, we didn't lose any viewers. I think we're good. 
Okay, we did pretty good for day, uh, what day are we? I'm trying to see what this is. Okay, not. Five marks? I don't know what that is. Alright, how do we do? We got A+. Plus. You've received a generous bonus, current wealth, broadcast port. Warring depth. Alright, we upgraded. Ah, uh, wait, is it? Is that worse or better? I think that's better. I don't know. I think I don't think that's better. Let's continue. Mm -mm -mm. What day are we on? We're on day 15. A late night. All right, current wealth, warring debt, a late night arrival on day 15. You arrive home after another long shift to find a note waiting for, in the, for you on the countertop. Okay, so right now I want to apologize for my reading ability. I have the same reading skills as a pre-K student. And, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. You recognize Sam's curried cr cr scrawl? What's a what? Chris has been ev evicted for not paying rent. You know where this is headed. Sam's going to pick up Chris stuff and from the street. Don't wait up. Underline twice. So this is your fault now, is it? You're sulkily? Press play on the cheap horror film you were going to watch together. It used to absolutely terrify you as a kid, but always makes the two of you laugh. It's not the same without Sam, but you still chuckle at yourself occasionally. Just as you get to the good bit, the part where Candy decides to investigate alone, your 14 year old son interrupts. He wants to go to a friend's house. He looks at you in a way only a child can, pleading but somehow defaint. You let him go, as long as he promises to be home by 11, you tell Charlie no. He knows he's not allowed to be out school night. No, let, we'll let him out as long as he's home by 11, you know. We're, we gotta be a nice dad. Clearly surprised, he practically races out the door. You does in front of the movie, waiting up for to his return. You start awake to the sound of the TV aesthetic. It's gone midnight and there's no sign of Charlie or Sam. It's a school night and he promised, so you go over there and march him home. You tried and in a bad mood, you just trust Charlie to become home. Now I'm going over there. Arriving at the friend's house, you find your son who, who has mercuriously noticed the time when he sees you. He may think you were born yesterday, but at least he apologized, that's something. You recognize that cheeky, mischievous look. You can't help but let him off this time. Okay, I thought something happened to him. I'm not gonna lie. I thought bro died or something. Day 48. A tight Christmas. You can't help but crack a smile as you look around the table. The snow has settled on the grass outside. The kids are pulling all crackers while your elderly mother tries to keep her eyes open. You did always have a soft spot for Christmas. You're sitting at, at the head of the table now, your dad's place. It's been a tense afternoon. Everyone can feel it. It's the first time you've seen Chris since you refused to part with the passport. It's a big change for Sam. The two siblings used to be inseparable. Is it, does that mean they don't separate? I'm a little special. I'm, a, I'm on the I'm on the I'm on a graph. I'm on a spectrum. That's what I meant. Dude, I'm definitely on the spectrum, bro. Christmas is usually such a nice time of year. The clatter of the cluttering, cluttery, is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointly at you. Are you having a nice Christmas, Grandma? You make a toast, you stay silent. Oh, uh, let's talk to Grandma. Your mother stares violently at you. Vacantly at you, confused. She comes back to herself with a start of recognition. Yes, thank you, Alex. It's lovely. She murmurs. It's been happening more and more lately. The clatter of cluttering is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointedly at you. Make a toast. You stand and you rise your glass. I got a glass. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm glad we're, we are all here. Dude, why am I role-playing this? What the freak? Uh, there are murmurs of cheers and uh, much clinking of glass. Chris doesn't move. 
Yeah, we're all we're all here. No thanks to you. Chris sighs him. Come on now, it's Christmas. We can put all that behind us. I wasn't talking to you. Or Sam's right. Let's try to talk to yeah, let's try to talk to ourselves. You step out your old car in silence. Sam slams the door and you wince. Wince? Hoping the door won't come off his hinges. You don't say anything. Now it's not the time. As you approach the front desk, you feel physically sick. The police officer asks you to wait. Wait, what? Am I being arrested? Eventually, after what seems like an eternity, your daughter is brought out by the an officer with a kind face. She's a good kid, but if we pick her up like, for graffiti again, we will have to charge her. You nod and apologize on Susie's behalf, and Sam's hugs your shell shocked daughter. Why would you do graffiti, dude? As you shake the hand of the police officer, keep her away from the boy. And I think she'll be fine. What boy? Whoa, I'm not letting my daughter hang out with boys, dude. What? In the car, you attempt to approach uh, the subject about Susie refused to say a word. After a while, you give, give up your questions about who this boy might be and just drive. Hours later, you stare at the ceiling worrying. The stillness in the bedroom is the only sign that Sam is always wide awake. Who is Susie hanging out with? Why is she acting out? Neither of you are going to sleep tonight. That's a lot of reading I've done. Finally, we get to play again. It's been so long. I feel like it's been it's been an eternity since I've last played The Tempest. Let's respond. Let's uh. Oh, I already did. I already put it in. Oh, second break? Okay, second break. I'm Johnny Lee Donison. Megan Wolf. I feel like that, that sounds familiar. <gasps> Wait! Wait, that's the graffiti that my, that my, the, my daughter was doing, right? After three months of record breaking approval ratings, Yo. The daring first move, the dude, that makes, this is making more sense, dude. Alright, that is it for part one of the Not For Podcast. I was trying to, I'm trying to edit the video, so it's not that long, but there's so much to, like, the story, so I'm gonna have to make a part two. I don't know when I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna make it soon, and this video took forever to edit. So yeah, by the way, go to kick.com forward slash more rapid if you want to see us live.